Hello and welcome to the Vasilea Romeon channel. And today we are continuing playing the Viking Age campaign as the Emperor. This time the Emperor Bardas, the ill ruler of the Macedon dynasty. In the last episode, uh, the previous Emperor, his father Vas Vasilios or Basil, died amid a quite a quite a substantial quite a huge civil war and it triggered the end of the civil war the me mechanics of the game are kind of sometimes they work in a really really strange ways but anyway now we are playing as his son Bardas and the civil war has ended. First things first we are going to do something about the guy who actually triggered the war. This guy, Dux Borivoya of Epirus. He is a Serbian ruler who was a semi-independent ruler in this area and he was vassalized by the father of the current ruler of my empire via diplomacy. So we basically had a really good relationships with this guy and we vassalized him. He accepted the treaty. But he has this land as a duchy. So it's her hereditary and another problem is that he's quite active in his uh, conquest also he was a dux of Crete and even though he does not possess any lands in the Crete area in the duchy of Crete and even though the duchy of Crete doesn't exist the jura he still holds the title the titular duchy of Crete what we are going to do is we are going to take it from him and we are also going to take from him these two provinces and I'm going to transfer them to the ruler of Thessalonike and that way we are going to have this duchy of Thessalonike or Thema of Thessalonike uh, later I'm going to create Thema Macedonia in this area. Basically in the historic area where Macedonia is supposed to be. Uh, but what is interesting, there's a bit of history here. Historically Byzantines had Thema Macedonicon in this area. So it basically was around these lands with Adrianopolis as its capital. So basically about these it was Thema Thracia or Thrake and everything that was west from this area basically west of this river it was considered Macedonia but we are going to create the Thema Macedonia where it's supposed to be I mean historically the region of Macedonia was around this area so we are going to create it around this area so also we wanted to establish Thema Mesopotamia in this area in order to do that we have to retake these two counties from the Armenian duchy. It's funny because there is a kingdom of Armenia or the, the kingdom of Armenia and it has this duchy as a tributary. Or wait a second, it doesn't anymore. Wait. Yeah, it doesn't have it anymore. 
or it actually never did. Uh, I don't remember. Anyway, what is funny? There is Kingdom of Armenia, which is quite a big one. And what is funny? It is a Warsaw of. Wait a second. The Kingdom of Armenia. It's a tributary of my Warsaw. And also, and it's quite small. Also, there is a Duchy of Armenia, which is independent. Oh man, these politics are fucking weird. They're really, really weird. Anyway, what we are going to do, we are going to retake these two counties. We are going to conquer this one, or rather, reconquer this one. And around this area, we are going to establish Thema Mesopotamia. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. But first thing first, we are... We want to imprison this guy, because he's a goddamn traitor. We have a 25% chance of success based on our relief state intrigue. Yes. He now is in rebellion. But, what is really, really great about the situation is that in the last civil war, he was aided by basically this guy, this guy, as far as I remember, even this guy and also Thema Arminiakon as well as probably some uh, one of these duchies from Italy but now he's alone, he's absolutely alone so the war is gonna be easy in the last war we unfortunately lost quite a big chunk of our troops we had about 5,500. Now we have only two and a half. So, we are going to compensate it. We are not going to use our own troops. We are not going to raise Tahmata. Instead, we are going to use the Pechenegg mercenaries. Yeah, that should be more than enough going to send the troops to Trianopolis and also we should pick a focus and an ambition for our Emperor yes groom an heir and the war focus because the guy was a diplomat not a warrior but we need a warrior also funny thing about this guy he was the only surviving son, the only surviving offspring of Basil, Basil the first. His four other sons died from very, very convenient reasons like disagreement with a mill, like chamber business, scurvy and infected wound. They were, except for the first one I guess yeah they were two of these guys they were burning pur purple and at least they were his sons this guy considered a bastard legitimized bastard though and he's he was the only surviving son so he became an emperor a bastard became an emperor it's quite funny it's quite ironic but still this is what we have uh, what are we are going to do now? Now we are going to hope that he will produce an offspring of his so that we could continue our dynasty. Yeah, 5,000 troops. Let's send them to Arta. He's besieging a trade post, probably of Ragusa. The Republic of Ragusa, which is my Warsaw. And then we are going to... Okay, let's send troops to Epirus and... Uh, to my liege, Simvasalev Konstantinos. Yes, I appointed this guy in Vasilevs after the death of the previous emperor because he is competent. He's ambitious though, but we need him as a friend and as a ruler. Because in case our emperor dies, this guy will become em the emperor. And then he will put 
an offspring of Bardas as a co-ruler. So we we are going to have kind of a twin uh, twin dynasty, like double dynam di dynastic dynamic. I mean, we will have this Macedon dynasty supplanted with Dukas dynasty from time to time. I mean, I want to to make it a kind of a role play or something. That would be funny. Uh, so he wants to train my commanders in exchange for a favor. I will do that. Even though usually it's a bad idea, but this guy is kind of my friend and so on. Yeah, that will do. <laughs> So, we did crush these pathetic Slavic bastards. Let's sell, or rather ransom, the prisoners that we have. We have a lot of, a lot of prisoners from the Republic of Ragusa because we had its... Oh, no, not, not even Republic of Ragusa, but Venetians, I suppose. Or not even Vene Yo, Venetians actually, yeah, they are part of the Vene Venetian Republic. So basically, we had a war with Venetians because because of our own Warsaw Republic of Ragusa, they had an embargo and they wanted me to assist them. Yo, Warsaw Retro Guicoth II of Ragusa is concerned about his non-inheriting sons. He asks you to consider them when looking for new Warsaws. Dude! First of all, you are a republic, you will have lands for your sons. Secondly, I don't give my lands to anyone. Also, do we have any? No. No, 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 no titular duchies at all. Also, he created this patat of Epirus. Yeah. Because, as you remember, he had this title. Uh, the title of Duchy of Crete. Let's send troops around the mountains and going to strike them in Thessalia. Strike them down. his army is around. I want to wipe this army. Yeah, Polish and uprising in Adrianopolis. Oh great, we actually imprisoned him. We cannot ransom him. Okay, I will simply accept the peace treaty. Then we will revoke kingdom, we will revoke duchy, we will revoke... Uh, we are not going to revoke Castoria and Bitolo for now. We are going to purchase claims first. Yes, and then we will revoke them without any objections from our vassals. That will do. Yes, 
first things first, let's destroy the Kingdom of Epirus. Let's destroy... Okay, we will not destroy the Duchy of Epirus for now. We are going to firstly uh, transfer the counties to Thema Hellas. Great, now let's send our troops in or to Thessaloniki and also I would like to transfer these two counties to Duchy of Thessalia. Transfer and transfer. Now it's a part of Thessalia. Civil war in obsequium. Lisa desired NATO for Realme worship could research ways to enhance your virility, all in order to facilitate the creation of a worthy successor. Yeah, we need a worthy successor indeed. So, court physician Izadin approaches you with a smile on his face. I have succeeded, my Basilevs. If you drink this concoction, your potency will magnify tenfold. The royal bloodline it's, is saved. Ah, oh, most excellent. Give it here. Shortly after drinking the concoction, you feel full of energy and vigor. It seems it seems you have worked. The lineage is surely saved now. I will reward Isadin handsomely for this. Okay. We will do that also. Let's give him a title of Patricios and Ipatos. Also, let's send him a gift. And then we will ask him. Oh, he's a true believer. Oh, how sad. I wanted to make this guy a an orthodox Christian. Oh well. Riding over the plains, I see a group of pompous soldiers coming from for my unit, weapons raised. When they are finished with us, all my men are dead. I sink to my knees in the mud, wondering why I am still here. Ooh. No, I'm not going to duel him. He's too strong for that, he can kill me. We inherited Duchy of Kilikia. Also, this guy is Muslim for some reason. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'll give it to you, but I will demand a AAA religious conversion. Not right now, but soon in the future. Victory. The rebellion is crushed. Yeah, great. Also, let's choose an advisor. This guy is loyal. Let's send our Ecclesiac to Adrianopolis. Oh yes, this guy reconquered Salerno. We are going to transfer the province, the county, and now it's a part of the Duchy of Calabria. Good. And what we are going to do next 
is we are going to declare war on the Armenians for Mesopotamia. Oh, we need a prestige greater than 1000. Oh well. Unfortunately, we don't have such prestige. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm, yeah. Holy War for Odessa. Let's send troops to Ankyra. Let's gather some thematic troops. Also, let's give the county of Nyssa to this guy because it's the Jura part of of the Thema Anatolicon. Let's gather troops from Thracision and from Kiveriaton and from Kilikia. And together that's about 300 troops. 3000, sorry. Okay, and this way, yeah, 3000 troops. Let's gather them in Caesarea, then we will have a meeting in Caesarea. Kiriake Focus. Have no idea who is she. After I had made another courtier cry, the third one in the short week, I felt a bit embarrassed. Is this really who I am? A cruel man who likes to hurt people. Oh, well, let's try to be kind. Unfortunately, we didn't become kind. Sadly. Uh, cavalry, of course, because we have cataphracts. So basically, we got about 9,000 troops. Let's send them to Tayana, then to Adana, and to Tolike. Oh, Dude, we lost quite a lot of troops due to attrition. Well, not surprising. These lands are treacherous. Anyway. Odessa is under siege. Let's obligate the Warsaw. Very good. Yes, we crush these guys and then we're going to strike them in Edessa. And some reinforcements. Sicinios. What kind of name is that? The Lagios, that's a better one. Thomas, Sipatius, Laurentius, Eutoxius, Constantius, Eutoxius, Constas, Anatolius, Ioannis, Thomas, Anatolius, Sabas, Diogenes, Gabriel, Traianos, Cosmos, Simeon, Athanasios, Alexandros, Erinaios, Ioannis, Jacobus, Marcos, Arestes, Callistos, Mateus, Justinos, Pietistos, Heracleos. Yeah, let's call him Heracleos. That will do. Are we going to lose this battle? No, please. Yeah, we won it. Even though that was a close victory. Also, let's sell the prisoners. Ransom. Yeah, 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 great. Let's Ransom this one to great. Let's ransom this one. Great. This one. Great. 
this one. History is a subject that always that has always fascinated you, and you have spent the last few weeks studying the campaigns of Alexander the Great. There are many lessons to be learned from his conquest in the East. Yeah, that will do. We need Marshall. And another one. Great. And another one. No, not this one. This one. That guy, I want to be dead in the prison of ours. Enforce demands. Yay! Victory. So, we still don't have the thousand prestige, unfortunately. Quite sad. Really, really sad. And without this prestige, we're not going to be able to declare war on Armenians. Uh, King of Serbia wants to marry this Focus girl. Well, okay. I have nothing against it. Okay, let's disband the thematic troops. And let's send our troops to the province of Karin. The king of Tarkatsus. The king of Hungary wants to marry his son to my daughter. No, no, my half sister. Okay. And that way we would actually be able to one day make an ally oh actually we can do that already great yay okay we will accept it since we don't have any wars of our own and we need prestige. I guess these small contingents of mercenaries and Scolai Polatina would be more than enough. Uh, who converted to Catholic? Do we have any Catholic? This guy, he was a Muslim, now he became a Catholic. That's a strange guy. Let's give him some money. Let's make him Kaiser. And we are going to, ma to demand the religious conversion soon let's send our troops to Vedin from there to Belgrade and from Belgrade to this Shomogi or Somogi I had told Stefania to stay at home, but just as I finished purchasing my gift to her, I turn around and see her trying to hide from me. The surprise is ruined. Uh, well, we need prestige. Stefania didn't react well to my way of correcting her behavior. I fear she is even more suspicious towards me now. Worrying. Great, then let's send troops here. Uh, 
and let's go there. Yeah, great. Let's help them with the rebellion. My wife is pregnant. Yeah, this war is finished. Yes, this war is finished. And this one is finished as well. Oh, this rebellion is actually bigger than I expected. Well, this was the point where I actually wanted to finish, or rather, to end this episode. But I guess I will end it when we are finished with this war. Second son, we are going to call him uh... Let's call him Maximus Yes Let's crush these rebels. Yeah, great. The war is finished and now we can send our troops back to the to the city of Constantinople or simply the city. The only city in the world. The city of world's desire. These troublesome peasants. So we are back to, uh, in the Constantinople city. The campaign of Bardas and his Pechenegs in Hungary is finished. We have an ally now and the future seems to be bright. Soon we are going to establish the Thema Macedonia here. And 
all of these will happen in the next episode. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.